All right, so for this video, we are going to look at the flaws that I typically see in celebrities. And we are going to see what these flaws are usually are and what type of detrimental effects um, that can that it can take on a person's total facial score. All right, so with this person right here, this right here would be considered a Nordwood one. And the reason why that is, is because he does have slight temple recession every so slight. Now his hairline is a little bit farther back, but that doesn't mean anything at all. Um, another thing too is, is that men have more of a defined hairline so kind of like a squarish hairline while women are less undefined so for the fact that he has a undefined hairline is also another sign and this is nothing too much to be concerned about but this is just the start of it all right so we're going to be moving to Nordwood too all right so for the next one is Nordwood too and what we see here is a more aggressive temple recession. And it's almost kind of like a Laura's case M that's going on right here. I know y'all probably heard of the McDonald's sign. Um, I know some people make jokes about some people's hairlines looking like <laughs> the McDonald's sign, but um, this is a little bit more of an aggressive temple recession. And he does also have more of a peak towards the middle part portion of his hair. And I'm going to show what a Nordwood three is going to look like. So let's bring that up. All right. So the Nordwood three is a complete uppercase M. And this at this point, you might as well go bald because you barely have any hair on the front portion. So the next thing that's gonna happen with this guy right here is that this part is not gonna just um you know fade away back or just recess back. What it's gonna do is you're gonna have less and less uh, hair fibers in the front portion of your hair. And at this point, you can't really put minoxidil and uh, frasteride onto it and expect it to kind of grow back because once the follicles fall out and they're gone, they're pretty much gone. Um, but at this point, uh, it just is too much open space around this area. So, um, yeah, this is going to be uh, take off all the points. So if I was to rate this, I would deduct two points from his miscellaneous features. Um, if I see uh, a hairline that looks like this to where it's all the way recessed back around the temple region of the hair. And I also wouldn't be surprised if he also has um, no hair within the crown portion of his head somewhere back there. But um, yeah. All right. So the next feature is flared ears. So um, I know this kid probably got his ears pinned back. But if you have flared ears to where the ear protrudes out the skull too far, and this also can be assessed with the facial fifths or the fifths rule, where I divide the face by five and are by four, but it has five portions to it. And um, that's one way that I can tell if like the ear kind of protrudes a little bit too far from the actual skull itself. And in this portion right here, um, his ears don't really protrude too much. It has a little bit of protrusion near the top, but as a whole, it doesn't protrude as much. Um, but this right here, uh, I do take some points off. I don't take too much points off because most people don't focus on the ears as much. Um, I swear I might take two points off of the balding. I might take one points off of the um, ear protruding. And uh, yeah, so people don't really focus too much on the airs as much as we would like to think. And uh, yeah, and another celebrity that I can think of that I actually just rated not too long ago 
um i think she goes by the name of roxy diaz yeah roxy diaz uh she does have a uh, flared ears so that's pretty much another example of somebody um who does have flared ears and you know it's something that you might not notice but when you look closely you'd be like okay this person does have ears that do protrude way beyond outside uh, of their skull so yeah all right so when y'all looking at this what exactly do y'all notice now when looking at this you'll probably notice if you look very carefully at the middle of her face her nose is actually kind of bent towards the side um in the second picture on the right side the nose is perfectly straight down the middle and this is another good thing too is um i usually don't use this uh, measurement i don't even think it's considered a measurement but if you divide the face in half you can clearly tell that the nose is not straight i know the line is not straight that i made but just assume that it is what happens is that the nose curves from the left side to the right side as to where this is kind of just going down and another way i can tell is the tip of the nose doesn't and also the nasal bridge doesn't line up together so the nasal bridge and her tip of the nose doesn't really line up together and another way i can tell is the philtrum groove doesn't match with the nasal tip and also the nasal bridge as to where everything right here kind of lines up together it almost looks very symmetrical and it just kind of flows better together so as to where this one it starts right here with the filtrum groove goes to the nasal tip and then it just curves this way and where right here it kind of just goes straight 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 and that kind of is a little bit normal but this left portion of it where it curves just um it doesn't have a good balance to it so yeah and sometimes um some people might get this because they broke their nose when they're little or something like that i've seen that plenty of times um most times it's not really inherited uh, sometimes it can but you know some people break their nose for whatever reason um it can be from multiple sports that they play when they're younger but if it's something that you can fix fix it and even so if you can fix it it still might not look the way you want it to look it still might have some sort of weird curvature to it so yeah so sometimes um the nose uh can be that one exterior portion of the face that um might not look the same if uh the nose gets broken or something affects the nose to where it doesn't have the same shape as it used to have before all right so what do y'all notice in this next picture all right so this is pretty obvious and everything looks exactly the same besides one thing one characteristic and that one characteristic is the eyebrows so the eyebrows are actually faded right here to where you can't even see it and then the eyebrows are more darker in this picture right here and um i i rated plenty of celebrities with faded eyebrows that are completely non-existent and some people you know shave their eyebrows for fashion reasons like doja cat if you have the chance to do that do not do that um but um yeah if you have eyebrows that are not um dark um especially for a man i will de deduct a lot of points for that or a good amount of points for that for the miscellaneous features um is something that is crucial and um yeah so you do need to have uh dark eyebrows so like i said with the minoxidil that does kind of help um but yeah dark eyebrows does help a lot or tremendously um with his i mean like this is pretty much gone so um he would get full points off for the eyebrows um but most celebrities have you know a little bit more eyebrow density than this uh yeah so yeah okay so the next thing is the sclera now with his sclera and i believe they call it the sclerothitis 
and what that is is if the sclera has a different color than white that means a horse a whole sort of problems are going through and um you need to get checked up real quick now sometimes it can be inherited and stuff like that and sometimes it can just be just you know a health problem that you need to get checked most times it's probably like liver or liver disease and stuff like that or maybe you kind of like drink too much or just a whole bunch of reasons but it's at the end of the day it's mostly a health reason and um this right here can affect uh your score a lot and um anything that has to do with the eye area is going to affect your score a lot because you know how people say the eyes are like the um the entrance to the soul i, I don't know <laughs> but just know that the eye area is probably one of the most important areas of your face and um, if you have any problems with that area of your face then that will deduct a lot of, of points from it and another thing too is um like I said, with the Nordwood 3, uh, this guy right here is pretty much gone. And um, the only difference between this guy and the guy with the Nordwood 3 hairline is he doesn't have this little area right here where the other guy did have that area right here where I said that it looks like an M. And um, at that point, even if he had, you know, hair right here, kind of like the other guy did, um, you still might as well just go bald at that point because the temple regions are pretty much gone um but yeah all right so another thing here is what we have is upper eyelid exposure and on top of that we also have eye bags so what happened from the before and after picture from what i'm noticing is uh she got her eye bags removed now these are very very heavy set eye bags right here i mean like i don't know what job she's working at or i don't know if this is inherited but man, it could be a mixture of both because I, I mean, I could see a little tiny bit right here, but not nothing too crazy. Um, she does look like she could be a low body fat. So I don't think that uh, her body fat has anything to do with that. And I and body fat can sometimes contribute to uh, eye bags as well. And uh, but yeah, um, I'm guessing that this could be just tiredness and stress, maybe and just overall health. Um and another thing too is that I'm looking at is she does have a lot of um, upper eyelid exposure. So I'm gonna just draw it out so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And this actually does matter a lot. Um, and this is pretty much what she got done by the way. So this upper eyelid right here, all this space that y'all see right over here is not what you want. What you really want is something like this right here to where it's very minimal. And she's still got a crease too, cause she does look like she's Asian. I know Asian people don't typically have creases, but she does. And um, she does have a crease that shows, but it, it has to be very minimal to where it's almost kind of unnoticeable. Um, I'm not too picky on it, but it just can't be this much. Um, it screams um, old people when I see this. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just um, it, it, it's, it's a sign of aging or the aging process as well. So, yeah. OK, so another thing that I've noticed as well is that and this is typically something that I usually see a little bit more when it comes to multiracial. So when I mean multiracial, I'm talking about specifically like middle easterns and um persians just any of that and um indians especially indians indians are the ones that mainly have this problem from what i'm seeing um is the dark circles now i don't typically talk about the dark dark circles because a lot of celebrities don't have this problem and um some people who 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 do have this problem you know they will tend to kind of cover it up and um i think the last person i rated was who did have this i think she goes by the name of lily lily singh or something like that I, or i think her other alternative you know uh name is uh superwoman on youtube uh she does have uh very very dark circles around her eyes and um 
the reason why uh i don't have the dark circles on my uh miscellaneous features is that is i still count it as the skin quality uh so this is pretty much similar to uh skin discoloration and this is pretty much inherited i believe uh so yeah and it could come from skin damage as well maybe from the sun or stuff like that but for the most part is inherited all right so this is going to be the last one for today and i like how they have this little like representation of this girl with holding a, a stick so or a popsicle stick and i'm gonna show you uh, why they did this so if y'all don't notice if you divide the face in half right so let's divide the face in half. And another thing that I noticed too is, um, and this is pretty much asymmetrical jaw. So she, so it looks like she has a, um, a jaw that is heavy on one side, which is the left side. And then the jaw is not that heavy on the right side. So it just has a weird little tilt going to the left side and it's kind of overly doing it. So. Another thing, too, that I've noticed is it actually changed the shape of her face. So or not the shape of her face, but the direction of it. So for a split second, I thought she had an asymmetrical nose. But if we look at it very carefully, the nose kind of shifts towards from the right side to the left side. And it's not the nose. That's the problem. The nose is not the problem at all. It's the jaw. So the jaw shifts to the left side so much to where it makes the whole lower portion of her face uh, do that same thing to where it tilts uh, towards the left side of her face. Now, um, another thing too is, I don't know if it's done through, um, or if this is due uh, to the way that she sleeps maybe, or even maybe she had a, just a broken jaw or something like that, or something maybe possibly have happened when she was younger and she probably didn't get this stuff fixed um, for whatever reason possible. Um, but with the, uh, the popsicle stick, the reason for it is to, um, is one indication to tell, uh, whether somebody has a jaw that is misaligned and, uh, that is exactly what she has going on right here is to where the jaw is, uh, misaligned. So that's why it has a tilt, uh, going from the top of the left side down to the right side. And right here it's completely straight. So that tells me that um the jaw is very balanced again so yeah so this is pretty much a health reason too i can kind of see that uh that uh this can affect your whole daily life to way the way you talk to the way you eat to everything so yeah a lot of these are pretty much health problems and some of them are not like the eyebrow density i wouldn't consider that a health problem but uh yeah so these are the miscellaneous features that i do look for and um that i do take off points for it in terms of a person's attractiveness rating so hopefully i like hopefully uh y'all subscribe and um if you want to get your face rated make sure to uh hit me up on my uh ig and within three days you should get your rating so yeah